multiple offers on the house if you've been shopping for a while chances are you've already experienced multiple offers and if you have not purchased a house yet you either did make any offer or you did not win the bid so today i would like to discuss with you what does it mean and what you need to do when you're facing a multiple offer situation yet you are looking to purchase the house and you are getting cold feet or you're feeling rushed. Most home buyers looking to purchase a home right now, especially first time home buyers within the price ranges of upper threes and upper 500s, you walk into an open house and then you come there and you're like in shock. What the hell? There's lines to get in, right? This was happening during the pandemic. It is happening now in these price points and there's a three hour open house going on and the line seems to never end. People walk in, people leave, other people come in, or it could be a different scenario where you are coming in to look at the house by appointment. If you stick around by the house a little bit, speaking to your realtor or just speaking about what's going on around, you could see every 10 minutes or so there's a new family comes in it's like a revolving door it's almost like getting back into the pandemic days that's really what's happening a lot of you folks because of the interest rates this is the budget that you can afford today and you still need or want to buy a home for you and your family and this is what's happening right now the goal is not to convince you not to buy a house but what I want to do is because a lot of people, first time home buyers, feeling really pressured. They don't really know what happens in a multiple offer situation and they feel really pressed and rushed when the realtor is telling them, well, oh, guys, we got to put an offer. Otherwise, there's a deadline. So what happens? So multiple offers really is anything that's more one than one offer. Uh, it could be two, it could be 22 and anything in between. The, the biggest stress for you is that you feel rushed because what happens, there's multiple offers now, everybody's prepared. So in the multiple offers, it is pressure. So the seller's agent, the sellers will say, okay, so let's give them a timeline. Let all the buyers know that we want their highest, best and final. And then let's say by Monday at 3 p.m., we want all the offers in and then we're going to sit down and we're going to choose which buyer we feel is the strongest and that's the offer that we're going to. The challenge here is when you're being put under pressure, you get nervous, you don't know what to do, you don't know how much to offer, you get overwhelmed. Look at it this way. Can you negotiate? Absolutely. Can you negotiate down? Absolutely. Multiple offer situations, there's no chance of negotiating down. Okay, unfortunately, because competition drives the price up. So if you're thinking about negotiating down, are you doing this for the sake of the negotiations or are you doing this because you wanna buy a house for you and your family? So ask yourself this question. If you just wanna negotiate, I'm telling you, there's no negotiating down in the multiple offers. So cross that off the list. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to give you bad news. I just want to tell you exactly what's going on because I think it's important for you to be prepared. Important to know the rules of the game. And then you can decide if you want to play the game or not. That's fair. So the other question that usually pops for you is, okay, how many offers are there? right? Technically, it's not allowed to disclose. My personal opinion, and that's my opinion, a seller's agent, why not tell the buyer's agent, okay, I have five offers, seven offers, 15 offers, whatever the offers are, right? So you and your realtor, your buyer's agent, then you can decide for yourself, do I even want to compete with so many offers? Am I prepared to really be in such a bidding war where I have to overpay by, I don't know, 5%, 10%, the next question is, what are the offers? I wanna know what offers are, that I can offer more what the offers are. Well, unfortunately, that's illegal, not allowed. Okay, so don't even count on it. Don't ask us 
realtors we're not even gonna ask the seller's agent what it is because it's illegal now let's talk about what happens with the multiple offers and here's the next thing buyer's agent's gonna call you and they're gonna say there's multiple offers they are calling highest best and final and it's due by monday at 3 p.m now the pressure's on, right? What does this really mean for you? What it means for you, so there's no negotiations. You gotta put your best foot forward. You got to make your best, highest, right? So your highest, the top number that you're absolutely willing to pay for this house. And if you don't get it for that price, you are willing to lose it. And you're not going to feel bad about it. Probably you will anyway, but that's really how you got to look at it your down payment has to be the strongest your terms have to be good terms and that's it they will collect all the offers by the deadline and then they will review all the offers they're going to take a look at the terms they're going to take a look at the down payment they're going to take a look at the offer price they're going to take a look at the closing date they're going to take a look at what type of inspections are you willing to overlook any appraisal contingencies, your mortgage pre-approval. And then my suggestion is if you're putting a 20% down or so, even if you're putting 10% down or whatever, have proof of funds available to show that you have that money in the bank. The more stuff you can put together with your offer that's going to support the strength of your ability to buy this house and get a mortgage, assuming you buy it with a mortgage, the better shot you have. And that's really what happens. You have to be prepared for it. Many times I feel buyers sometimes think that the realtor is laughing and saying, oh, there's multiple offers to get them. Nah, we don't do that. We are just trying to guide you. I think the challenge here is that sometimes your realtor does not prepare you for that. And all of a sudden you've been shopping for a house and then you finally find this house that you really love and then you get hit with highs, best and final. And you're like, oh my God, I feel pressured. So I'm trying to minimize your pressure. This way you know exactly what's going on. Make sure to watch some of the other videos that are coming up next for you to watch right now. If you have any questions, please, I welcome all questions. You can ask in the comments or you can ask me directly. My information is always in the description. I love to talk to you about real estate. Subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell and like this video and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.